What's good, y'all? It's your boy. You know what it is. Talk to my, my, my procrastinators out there. Let's talk to the ones who drag their feet. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all, man. And listen, this is I'm telling you everything I've already been through. So I know procrastination. I know that is real. I used to be a procrastinator. I used to drag my feet on things. You know, so anything that I talk to you about ain't nothing that I ain't already done. The difference between, you know, the old me and the new me is the fact that I see the value in everything that I'm telling you, man. Like, life has shown me the other side of it. And I just realized that some things, man, I just had to become an adult about, be responsible about, man. So I want to be very clear, the words that are coming out of my mouth in any of these videos that you watch, I lived that. I did that. So, back to you procrastinators. Nothing good comes out of procrastination. Nothing good comes from procrastinating. In fact, procrastination absolutely will set you up for failure because you know you know you should have done something. You know that, that inner voice that says that you should do this and you just keep pushing it off and pushing it off. There's a reason why. Man, that's that Holy Spirit talking to you. You know, we are all, we are all spiritual people, man. We are all connected to the most high. You know, God is, is everything. So when you, when you, when we refer to God as I am, I am, I am that I am, I am that. I am. That means that God is everywhere. He's in us, around us, through us. Everything we see is God. So when you get that inner voice, you know, people say, man, I, that little voice talking to me, man, listen, that's the Holy Spirit trying to tell you something. And you need to heed that. You need to, you need to act upon that because that's the difference between you seeing success now or never seeing success at all. You know, that's, that's the difference between you having, having life insurance policy or not. You know, I sit with a lot of people and they'll say, man, I'm, I'm glad that you said something to me, man. I've been thinking about this. I know I should have been doing something. And then there's a lot of people who will never act on it. And they know, they know at the end of the day, if they left this earth tomorrow, they will be leaving their family absolutely stuck. And it's not just about life insurance, man. It could be business. Like you, you know, you should have got up off of your behind and, and, you know, introduced yourself to different businesses in the area, or, you know, you should have got on the phone and made some dials, or you should have done whatever, and you didn't do it. You kept putting it off, and somebody else that is that outworked you. Somebody's gonna always try to outwork you, and that's why I always outwork somebody else, because I know that if I procrastinate on the slightest thing, I could potentially be missing out on a huge opportunity. So I'm telling you, if you're a procrastinator, man, you got to change that habit about yourself. You need to be about the business of progress, right? The law of opposites says I'm either growing or I'm diminishing. I'm either winning or I'm losing. So you got to be about the business of being on the on the positive side of things, and procrastination is absolutely going to leave you on the on the losing end, on the short end of things. So, to my procrastinators, I've been there, I've done that, I've missed out on opportunities that I look back and I'm like, man, I should have did that. Trust me, I know. I mean, I can't listen. I can't. You can't cry over spilled milk. I can't go back in time. You know, I can't go back in time, man. I don't have no DeLorean that I can drive in, you know what I'm saying, 90 miles an hour, and all of a sudden it transports me back in time, and I don't have that. You got one man let me know about that I'd love to maybe go back and make some changes but guess what I can change my future though by not procrastinating so stop procrastinating when you are given an idea you given something inside of you that 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 thing inside of you that doesn't sit down and you know you should do it man do that that's the Holy Spirit that's giving you an opportunity to position yourself for greatness to take care of your family to 
to do something that you said you always wanted to do and the only reason why you haven't accomplished it because you procrastinate so stop procrastinating be about your business all right so think about that on this wonderful weekend this saturday and i don't know when you might see this video but man the weather is great all right so love yourself man put god first in all that we do you know can do all things through christ you gotta you gotta remember that keep saying that to yourself i can do all things through christ love your family stop procrastinating i'll holler at you soon man peace